I want to say a very big congratulations to you. Now you have successfully set up your demo account. Now in this video, I will show you how to use the MetaTrader 4 to place your trades, modify your trades, close your trades, and so on. In the previous video, I showed you how to set up a MetaTrader 4 account. I showed you how to add a new currency pair. I showed you how to arrange your code page alphabetically so you don't need to start so you don't need to start running Elta Skeeter when you need to place a new trade all right so you can see as you can see as you can see in the drop down menu we have our demo account it goes with demo 3 setup we have actually arranged our charts we have changed the color we have changed the color of our candles now everything is in place the next thing now is to actually place a trade we want to place a new trade so let's say for instance you you analyze the market and you came up with a trade on AUD USD or you were given a trade idea to put into your MetaTrader 4 on AUD USD <coughs> what you need to do now is to tap on AUD USD and it brings all these options new order open charts symbol properties advanced view all we need right here is to go straight to the charts go to the charts then looking at the chart page what do we need to do and what do we need to observe as i said earlier on this is a AU, as i said earlier on this is AUD USD pair and we have a trade we want to place on this currency pair looking at the top menu you will see five different icons the first icons that look like a cross is just to move around the second icon when you start using indicators this is where you actually add or remove indicators from but let's move on the next icon is to change the currency pair you're actually working on but we need to stay on AUD USD then the next one is to change your time frame in previous videos and lessons and everything you must have learned by now you know what time frame is so this is a five minutes time frame right now let's change it to one hour time frame you can see the way the candles appear is now different and looking at the top inside the chart inside the chart not the inside the chart not the top menu inside the chart you can see AUD USD H1 this is to show you we have the AUD USD on the one hour time frame all right now you know what all these four icons are for obviously the last icon is what we need to know what to do with and when you click this icon, that is how you put in a new trade. Earlier on, you must have <clears throat> earlier on, you were told that there are two types of orders: a market execution or pending orders. Market execution is also the same thing as instant execution. It can be called buy by market in a buy trade. It can also be called sell by market in a sell trade now you see the first option right here on the white screen is market execution that is where you change your trade type from market execution you can see all the order pending orders there are four different types of pending order which you must know by now buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop if you don't know what all these are you can watch the previous classes and previous videos and you will understand what these pending orders mean all right let's say we want to go by market execution then the next line you will see some numbers what in the middle you will see 1.00 we spoke about lot size in the past 1.00 is a standard lot size then looking to the right you will see plus 0 0.01 0 0.01 is a micro lot size and the last option by the right plus 0 0.1 is a mini lot size now for proper risk management you want to take this lot size to 0 0.01 all you need to do is just play around with the other minus and plus buttons and see how you can change this lot size to 0 0.01 so but to make things easier for you let me just go with the last number minus 0 0.1 to the left so you see it keeps reducing it by 10 mini lots and it is now 0 0.01 and you see we can't go any 
you can't go lesser than that then on the right you can see plus 0 0.01 this is good to go to 0 0.02 lot size but let's go back to 0 0.01 now we click the next number by the left which is <coughs> which is, is then we click the next number by the left which is minus 0 0.01 now it's back at now the lot size is back at 0 0.01 that is how to change your lot size i have showed you how to change your other type now i've showed you how to change your lot size the next thing is the bid and ask price under the lot size you can see two different numbers the one on the left is for the sell and the one on the right is for the buy that is what is called the bid and ask price and as I discussed earlier on in previous classes, you can easily calculate pips looking at any of these numbers. So let's say, for example, in this lesson, you've been given a trade to, to buy, you've been given a trade to buy AUD USD. The current market price right now is 0 0.712. It's 0 0.7182. You can see there's a tiny three at the back of A2 and it's changing right now. That is the pipette. The third and the fourth number after the decimal, which is A2, that is the pips we'll be working with. So let's say we've been told to take profit at 10 pips, 10 pips profit. All we need to do is add 10 to A3. So that will make it 0 0.7193 forget the last number which is eight right now it's just a pipette okay so let's go with the take profit and the green box under it is where you put your take profit now our take profit is 0 0.7193 that means we'll be taking profit at 10 pips or better still or better still in the trade idea you got you've been given this take profit all the figures in this video are just for illustration okay all right let's move on so now on the left you can see where we can also input numbers and it is highlighted where we can actually put some numbers and the line below it is red that is where you put your stop loss so let's say we've been told to put stop loss at 10 pips that means we need to take out 10 pips from 0.7183. That will be 0 0.7173. 0 0.7173. It is basic mathematics. Look at the large numbers. That is where you start calculating your pips from. This is just a tip. All right, now you see we have all the details that we need to actually execute this trade. If you click buy by market and it tells you in value stop loss, or invalid take profits that means you must have entered something wrong take your time examine the numbers and go over it again okay so let's buy by market you can see it says order is open and now this brings me to the trade page which is the third icon at the bottom the third icon at the bottom on an android phone even on the iphone is also the third icon at the bottom now it shows you how much you have in your account as we when we open this demo account we opened with three thousand dollars that is your balance now equity is whatever you have after deducting whatever loss you are incurring right now or after adding whatever profits you are incurring right now or whatever profit you are making right now you can see we are in loss of minus 0 0.13 that is why our equity is 2999.86 and it's changing as the market price is changing all right then free margin you understand more about free margins later on margin level you understand more later on margin you understand all these things later on right now all you need to focus on is your entry price your stop loss and your take profit all right so now we have successfully placed a trade let's say the trade is active and you've been given an update on the trade to modify stop loss or modify take profit for this, in this case, let's just modify one of it. Let's modify stop loss. You got an update that says move stop loss to entry. What was our entry price? 0 0.7183. Now, all we need to do is move it back to 0 0.71. Click on where you put your stop loss. Then change it to 0 0.7183. That is it. 
then our stop loss has just been modified which automatically takes us out of the trade because it is back at that particular price so that is how to actually modify stop loss assuming the trade is still running it will take us out at the point where we started from that is how to move your stop loss be it to the entry price be it in profit be it further away or lower that is just how to modify that is the whole essence of what i just showed you then let me show you how to actually close a trade directly manually how to close a trade let's set up another trade market execution buy i don't put stop loss and take profit because i just need to show you what i want to show you now if you want to close this trade now or modify this trade you tap you, you if you want to modify this trade now you swipe it to the left and you can see three icons showing the first one is the tick icon like the mark icon that is to actually close the trade <clears throat> that means you are done with the trade and you want to close the trade the second icon is the pencil icon to modify the trade that was what we used previously to modify the stop loss then the third icon will take you back to AUD USD charts so let's close this trade click on the arc icon it brings you to this page and at the bottom is asking you if you want to close with loss of zero minus 0 0.13 then you click it you click on it and it ends the trade and if you are in profit it will show you close with profit of two point this or five point this and you click on it and it takes you out with your profits that is how to close a trade let me now show you how to close partial profits how to take partial profit let's say this trade is still running and you've made some money and you want to close partial profit but note you cannot close partial profit on 0 0.01 lot size so assuming this trade was started with 0 0.2 lot size all you need to do is remove the two you can see where the one is right now just assume it's two then just click back then type one in it will automatically take out 0 0.01 out of your position you don't really need to understand this right now but later on you will need to do this come back and watch this video and you will actually understand why you need to know this all right so let's close this trade and the trade is closed so basically that is how to enter into a trade exit a trade modify a trade and so on that is everything you need to know about entry and exit of trades so the next thing is the fourth icon at the bottom which is the history page this page you can see right now is showing you the profit you've secured so far so good if you are in loss it will bring it out as minus whatever it is and the color will be in red if you are in profit it will show you the figures in blue as you can see now we are in loss and you can see the two trades we entered into they both ended in loss and it's showing it in minus and it's red then the next thing is your deposit you can see it's show, telling you you deposited three thousand dollars into this account your balance after deducting whatever you must have lost or have after deducting whatever you must have lost is now two nine 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 point five seven two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars fifty seven cents if you have made profit of like ten dollars it will show you three thousand and ten dollars so this is your history page then you can choose how you want to see your history with the last icon at the top which looks like the calendar click on it it will show you to view your today's history view this week's history view last month's history view last three months or customize the period so that is how to use metatrader 4 to enter and exit a trade